Hey everybody, it's the Musical Gamer again. Welcome back to Let's Play Artanelico 2. We finally made it to Gaia. We got through the Verticave last time, and now we're about to enter the Lone City. We'll see what the hell Gaia has in store for us, and maybe we can find a way to bring Cloche back to the land of the living. And, <laughs> with that, it's now phase two. Yes, all of that, the last 40 episodes, was phase one of five. Now, granted, phase one is by far the longest phase out of all of the other phases, but still, that gives you a scope of how big this game is. This game is a much, much larger game than its predecessor. So now we can enter phase two, Solid Heaven. It, whoa, what the? What is up with this place? A forest? Looks like it, but it feels kind of strange. Do you think it's real? You're not making any sense. It's just you don't, it's just you who doesn't understand. This forest doesn't feel alive. See, the leaves won't fall off, even when I pull on them. An artificial forest? Why an artificial one? Something's over there. Oh, those again? What? Yes, they're born from Gaia. So this place is filled with them, huh? Oh no, right at the start of phase two, it's boss time. Well, no, not really boss time, but we do have, we do have some enemies to take care of. All right, what should we start with? Let's start with Hidden Enchant this time, because I've been using the, I've been using the chilling song for quite a while now. Oh, oh, that's right. These things hit hard. Oh, these things hit very hard. Maybe I should have tried to... Oh, no. Yikes. 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 Oh, my lord. Okay. Just get lots of burst. See if we can get some harmonics going before. Got to... All right, just, just launch the move. Maybe we can kill them. If Luka goes down, well, at least we got to use the song magic before she went down. Oh, good, we killed them. Whew, thank God. Wow, that was awesome. Holy crap, we get lots of experience, though, for killing these things. Hmm, they're hard to fight. They're completely different from anything I've ever fought before. We're better off forgetting what we know and starting over. If you're complaining about those guys, you're gonna see hell beyond here. Uh, oh no! You're Jackly! What are you doing here? What is Alfman trying to do with you? I thought I finally found some normal people on this mysterious land. And the moment we meet, I get yelled at. Why me? You're here under Alfman's orders, right? What do you plan to do with Gaia? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just searching this place with one goal in mind. What are you... Oh, right. Jackley's actually a girl. Huh? A person? Nice to meet you, I guess. I'm the main body of Jacqueline. Now it's your turn to answer me. What are you doing here? Sightseeing on this strange land? You guys must be pretty weird. We're here to rescue Lady Cloche, who was swallowed by Gaia. There has to be a way to save her here. I'm surprised you figured that much out by yourself. As you said, there is one way to rescue her. Really? Please tell me. No. Why not? It completely interferes with my goal. You will not be able to rescue Luca because I will step. Wait, what? Uh. Game? That. 
that's that's the wrong person. Yes, we will save Lady Cloche. If you do rescue her first, there's nothing I can do. But I won't tell you. But I won't tell you anything. You have to be in. Thanks, thanks, Jackley. Thanks so much. You are already beginning to infuriate me. And this is only the first time you've met the actual party. I'm sure we'll never see her again. I kind of want to be violent now. That's a very strange way to put that coconut, but sure. Go wild. Jeez. Well, we don't have any enemies we have to fight here. There's graffiti here. Jackley was here. Great. Um... To the right? I'm not entirely sure where we're supposed to go. I mean, there aren't any enemies. But, hmm. This is strange. We're on Gaia. First of all, Gaia doesn't look like it has any form of life or fauna on it. But when we get in it, there's a freaking forest. Then we find out that the forest isn't actually real. Utopia of dreams. What? Oh, God, there's more signs and more everything. Will you regret it? Will I regret what? Oh, God, this place is starting to give me the creeps. The blank board. Yeah, this, this place is really starting to give me the creeps. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Oh! Uh, it's a town? There are so many soups and pippins! Ah, yous! Aren't yous peoples? Yeah, we are. Where are we? This is Wee's village, da! Village? You're a pippin, right? Do you live here? I is no pippin, me is pippin pippin. Ugh, I can't, I can't. I, I can't keep doing this. Pippin pippin. I think that's how I say that? Dictionary of this village. Well then can you, yeah, we would like to, we'd like to know what we're supposed to do here about Lady Cloche. <sighs> well, I guess it was worth a shot. Strong monsters. For beginners, there's no world. No world. I really don't understand that. You and me both, Amri. This, this is the, this is the quote of the game. I really don't understand this, and that can be applied to pretty much everything else in the game. Oh, there's an inn. Thank God we could use it after that fight. Soups. Souply. You hear weird sounds? I'm just paranoid. Souplu. It, it just meowed at me. Noisy? What's noisy? What is there to discuss? There are too many things we don't know. Isn't it best if we just walk around this area on our own first? That's foolish. We don't even know what's out there. It's like walking straight into an enemy's trap. Coward. It's called being smart. Now's not the time to be fighting. Jeez, you're so... Boo. She's right. We need to find a way to save Lady Cloche as soon as possible. I guess we don't have any ideas. What? You really are nice, Luca. No, it's not like that. I mean, we need to stop Jack Lee's scheme. I think maybe you actually do like Lady Cloche, hmm? No, no, no! It's just, we can't leave her like this. Anyway, I'm going to sleep. Oh, Luca, you big softy. Finally, something to melt that ice-cold bitch heart of yours. Did I just say that? Yes. Yes, I did. 
Yeah, we'll go get some shut-eye. Luga's left the group. Oh, great, now we have no Ravitail. Huh. <sighs> all right, well, I was hoping to maybe, I forget if there's a dive shop in this area, but when, if there is, and when we get Luca back, I wanna dive and complete her level three Cosmosphere. Yeah, I guess we'll just go to sleep. Do we just go upstairs or do we actually rest? We need to actually rest. <laughs> Sometimes the game doesn't really tell you about that if you gotta do one or the other. Hmm, I really have no clue. If only I could talk to Lady Cloche. Yes? It's me. Can I talk to you for a few minutes? Luca? I'm sorry it's so late at night. What's going on? Actually, it's about Gaia. I might have an idea. An idea? Yeah, a, a way to find the clue to solve the mystery of Gaia. So, what's this idea? Sleep with soup as your pillow. You might be able to meet Lady Cloche. What? Soup? As my pillow? Y yep. That's how I met Lady Cloche back on Promise Hill. That's how I knew she was still alive. Well, now that you mention it... Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained, I suppose. Ah, we're going through a flashback right now. My mind values law and order, and I'll fix the government. Well, sounds like a plan. Duh. Yeah, you two kind of are at odds at the moment. That is definitely a fair point. You two didn't really... L L Cloche didn't go into this coma at a very good time for you two in your relationship. That's uh, definitely, definitely not an understatement. I mean, Luca, you did sort of just kind of bring down frickin' Armageddon upon the people of, um, Metafals. And... Kind of screwed over Cloche, but you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. So this is the world Luca was talking about? Soup? After close investigation, you have been judged as not in accordance with the gods of the goals of the Infil Sphere. Therefore, sadly, you do not qualify to enter this world. Please go away. Qualify? What do you mean by that? Wait a minute, soup? Oh no. That light bulb. What did- What did you do?! Luca, what are you doing?! Oh my god, no! No! No, you didn't! Oh, that is just so wrong on so many levels. You, oh, Luca, you nasty. You, you nasty. God damn it, game. Ugh. My hope has just been dashed. In more ways than one. Well, I, you know, I, I don't think she hates you, but yeah, you two are on the best of terms. I will, I will not deny that. Well, yeah, duh, I kind of have been. Um, how? 
How do I do this? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No more heart racing. But that's so hard. God damn it. We've now begun an Infosphere dive. Starting in phase two, we have an Infosphere mechanic. It's a shared, it's a soul space shared between both Luca and Cloche. Events that happen in this world will affect the girl's body, Gaia, because Cloche's body, well, Cloche's body is still her body, but her spirit and her mind have basically become Gaia. In the Infosphere, you will need spear points instead of dive points. Sphere points can only be obtained from battles fought with both heroines. Use the sphere points you have acquired to explore the Infosphere. When something occurs in the Infosphere, you should go and check Gaia. Now you might be wondering, musical gamer, if you can only get sphere points with both heroines in the party, Thank you so much for that game. Though I will admit that is actually pretty freaking cool. You might be wondering, gamer, if you need both heroines in the party to get spear points, then how can this be possible with Cloche and Nakoma? Well, that will be resolved in a moment. Don't worry about that yet. Trust me, everything will work out how it's supposed to. We got in. Uh, oh, I'm still not allowed. Wait, was that... Was that Cloche? Hey, it's Cloche! To my world. Um, wait, what? It, whoa. What do you mean? A new order? What? This will be monitored in the reserve. Oh, oh you've got to be kidding me. The, we're, we're going into some sort of massive totalitarian style of government here? And this is what you're trying to usher in? Police angels? What do you mean by that? It must be a hellish existence for people like you who slip through the law performing dive therapy. Oh no. Oh no. This is already going south really quickly. Millennia of Metaphalica. Luca, let's go back. I don't think Lady Cloche will listen to anything we say right now. Well, at the very least, we kind of know what's got. Whoa! This is a pretty funky looking place. Couldn't even call that a chat. Oh, well, okay. Either way, the world seems to have expanded a little. Oh. That's actually the world map of Gaia right now. We added perjury. Hmm. Well, okay. I'm still not entirely sure what that means, but... I'll take your word for it, Soup. Looks like it. So I guess I have to go in too, or they won't let you in. Apparently. I wonder what it means to be in accordance with the goal of the Infosphere. I don't know. I'm only sure of the fact that it has to be you. Croy. Yeah? How long are we gonna stay like this? Ah, sorry! <laughs> God. Uh, serious moment over. <laughs> what? I mean, after all, I'm still worried about Lady Cloche. I'm happy I can talk to her directly. Oh, yeah, I guess. Sorry, Luca. Lady Cloche is... There's no reason for you to apologize. At least now we have a place to ask Lady Cloche questions, so we have some light. Yeah. 
Yeah, things didn't really end between you two very well either, if memory serves. Well, we now have the Infosphere Sphere to contend with. Which is... Oh, this is not going to be fun. This is, this is going to be some of the strangest, trippiest, and downright absurdest stuff you will ever be able to see. Where do I see the... God damn it, where do I see the information for the Infosphere? It's somewhere. Is it in catalog? No, it's not in catalog. Is it in system? No, it's not in system. I don't know where I see it. I know I can see it somewhere in one of these menus, but well, I'll find that for next time. Next time on Let's Play Artanelico 2, we will actually go explore this new piece of land that apparently got created. Perjury. Sounds like fun. And by fun, I mean sounds like hell. This is the Musical Gamer, signing off. See you guys next video.